What's up guys, Koopa here to help you out set up that Bluestacks keybinds. Now I know I just showed you guys how to set up Bluestacks in general, um, but I wanted to show you a little one of the more advanced features uh, within the game. So if you notice, my mouse is here, yet I'm moving around. I am actually using uh, S, D, W, A to move, right? I actually, they're actually keybound and I can actually keybind anything that's anything that's actually on the map right now um, through Bluestacks. Like if I press T, I'll leave my mouse right here. If I press T, I actually start, uh, it toggles my auto, auto. And so if like you're a keyboard user and you're just looking for like a keyboard style experience with the mobile games that you're playing, the the key mapping with Bluestacks is actually really slick, super slick. Um, so let's show you how. All right, so for this part of the tutorial, I went ahead and full screened it so you can see the UI of Bluestacks, so you can see where I'm clicking. So it's this one right here, I believe. The keyboard control is enabled. You click on the keyboard here, and this is going to bring up a screen where it basically shows you these little number blocks in certain parts of the game. So like over my one skill, I have one key bound. I've got two, three, four. On my ultimate that I have not unlocked yet because I'm a noob, it would be L. That's a crazy keybind. Once I get that skill, I'll keybind it to something else. I've keybound my regular skill E. Um, I've got my potion tab Y, F2 for a healing potion, C for an MP, and Z for soul shots. I've, I've custom made all of those. I can open my map with M, and I've got my quests with Q, right? So I can press X here. And so if you remember, my map, it's M, right? So I'm gonna press M, boom. It clicks on it, it opens it, it's that simple. If I wanna turn soul shots on, I press Z, soul shots are on, soul shots, soul shots, I can't say that word, soul shots are off. Um, now if you wanna adjust those, because it will come with a default keybinds, it's really easy. So I mean, if I wanna change this, like let's say I don't like this keybind, I don't say I don't like two. All right, let's make it nine. Oh, I had to save it first, save change, done. So now if I press nine, boom, increase attack speed. It's that easy. Um, so if I open this back up, I'm gonna bring this back to two. Um, now let's say let's say you're playing any game on, on Bluestacks, or let's say you want to have your own custom keybind for whatever. You can click anywhere on this map. Like if you, if you have like something that you want to like um, have programmed in or whatever, I can click right here as an example. Boom. You can keybind this. So if there was something that you'd want to have keybind for clicking at this exact spot, you could do that. Um, let's say world bosses like this isn't one of the default ones But if you want to have a keybind for world bosses, I can make this we'll make this nine and then I'll click save and so now when I click nine it opens up the world boss tab um, So the use of keybinds through blue stacks is actually one of the major selling points on why players will use um, This emulator to play this game um, This is it just creates a more immersive MMO ish style PC experience where I'm not, I'm not using, you know, my fingers to actually control the game anymore. And it's just, for some people, this can be like a make or break to make the game a lot more fun. You know, it's like when you actually are able to play it on a PC and like you just kind of have that PC feel, but then if you want to go mobile, you can. You know, if you're going to like, going out to eat or something and you want to be able to keep playing, you could take your device with you or you just let it auto at home with blue stacks. Like that works perfectly. I personally still will use Bluestacks to auto overnight just because it gives my devices a break. Um, and with the key mapping and just everything else just makes it so easy. Uh, so I mean, I know this was kind of like a short brief tutorial video, but I felt like this just needed its own its own video because it is one of the key features of Bluestacks that just makes it so awesome and can make and you can really change your experience with the game as a whole. So if you guys have any questions with the key mapping or anything else, uh, please feel free um, to uh, ask in the questions in the comments. I'll go ahead and link uh, the other video uh, on how to set it up if you haven't set it up at all. And then if you also want to see a leveling guide on how to get to 120 in about two weeks or so, we've got that too. So appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more stuff from Lineage 2 Revolutions, please let me know. I made a few videos for it, but um, normally I do all my stuff on Twitch TV, uh, so I don't do a lot of YouTubing, but you never know. Maybe maybe we will. If people like the videos enough, then I'd consider it. So, But uh, you guys take care, and good luck in lineage.